So this is one of the simplest yet super effective automation to manage all your leads. Let's say I was on a call with Michael Scott from Denver Mifflin for a new website design update. As soon as I got off the call, instead of me going into my CRM and messaging my team manually, all I'm gonna do is send a voice out and it's gonna automatically update my CRM and send a message to my team. Super cool, right? So let me show you how to build this easy automation so you can start saving a lot more time. So to start off with, I created a simple form. I use draw form as the form builder so that I can add a voice recorder as my input to the form. So as soon as I have a new lead, I have a new call, or I meet somebody, I'm just gonna send a voice note here with this form link and it's gonna trigger my automation. Here, the trigger from automation is a new submission in job form and I'm just gonna, you know, connect my account. I'm gonna connect my trigger as a form. So I'm just gonna select the same form I wanna use for this and I'm just gonna test it out quickly. And then my next step here is using OpenAI whisper function to transcribe that voice note into text. So if you use OpenAI as your next action and you use the event create, transcription just connect your open air account and then here in the action for the file we're just going to add the file from the job form so our voice note can be transcripted automatically and just test out the step to make sure it's working correctly now in our next step we're going to take the transcription and extract all the data we need to add to our crm so here again i'm just going to use chat gpt as my action and i'm going to use the event extract structured data so extract structured data is one of the most powerful events with chat gpt because you can add any data and you can then start classifying the data in terms of what you want to extract from it. In this case, we're going to connect our account. We're going to extract the lead name, job title, company name, services requested, budget, and marketing channel. So here in this step, I'm just going to add a quick description, which is just a simple prompt that your data parser, I'm going to provide you with a transcription of my voice note. And your job is to extract all this information. And then under values to extract, this is where you can just create a giant list of all the things you want to extract from any data source that you're adding to your automation flow. And then again, we're just going to test a step to make sure it's all working well. And then our next step is to populate the information in our CRM. So I'm using Airtable as my CRM. You could pick whichever you want. Zephyr connects with almost all the CRM, so that shouldn't be a problem if you use something else. Just connect your account and under action, you pick the right table or CRM, and then we just map out the fields we're extracting from our third step. So here for my lead name, I'm just gonna extract the lead name from my step three, from which is chat GPT data extraction, company name, services, budget, date, marketing channel, etc. And I'm just gonna test it out to make sure it's connected well. Just in case, you know, your tests aren't passing, there's gonna be a notification there telling you what you need to fix. If you run into any issues, please feel free to leave a comment and somebody from the team can probably take a look. And then our last step is to send a Slack message with all the details. So I'm just connect my Slack account here and the action, I'm just gonna type in the message and I'm gonna use the value fields from the extracted data or the Airtable fields to send the message to my team so somebody can take over the lead and take it from there. So there you have it, a super simple data factor flow where if you have a new lead, you have a new conversation instead of you manually adding all the data yourself, just send a voice note and this automation flows test the rest for you. If you've never built an automation before, watch this tutorial step by step. Let us know if you have any questions. I promise you, this is going to be a slippery slope to start automating all your work from here on. And if you already know how to use Zapier, this is going to be a piece of cake for you. But either way, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments and also let us know what other tasks you want to automate so we can create a tutorial for you. I hope this was useful. We'll see you in the next videos.